Hello and welcome to the University of Texas virtual campus tour visit. My name is America Jaime. I am an admissions counselor here at UTEP. Um, I oversee every part of the admissions process, everything from helping you fill out your application to taking all your paperwork, um, ultimately admitting you and getting you started in your courses. Um, today we're going to be learning all about UTEP, everything from our basic information to all of the majors that are going to be available to you once you start attending. Um, we'll talk a little bit about what it's like to actually be a student here on campus. And then finally, I'll tell you the logistics of how you can start applying once you're ready to do so. Thank you so much for coming and let's get started. So first off, a cup course, a big warm UTEP welcome to you. So some of our basic information, um, at any given time, we do have about 25,000 students with us here on campus, um, either on campus or taking classes from home. Um, if any of you have been able to visit our beautiful campus, you'll see that it is actually pretty big. It's a couple miles wide, I believe. And so while 25,000 students sounds like a lot of people, we do have a lot of space all around campus for people to spread out. Um, if, if possible, I actually highly recommend visiting campus. It is really beautiful. Um, that way you can start getting a feel for it and decide, you know, whether or not this is somewhere you would want to attend. We do also have an alumni network that is over 110,000 worldwide. So for those of you unfamiliar with what an alumni might be, essentially it is someone who has already graduated from the school that you're at. So once someone graduates from UTEP, they're considered UTEP alumni. Um, one of the benefits of having so many alumni all over the world is not only networking power because you get to connect with people all over the world who also went to UTEP, um, but also because the alumni do come back to campus very frequently. They are pretty involved um, in getting students um, current internships with helping students understand what the actual work world is like. Um, and then ultimately helping students get jobs after graduation. So one of the things you're going to want to consider when you're looking at colleges and universities to apply to is you're going to want to look at their alumni network. And here at UTEP, we do have a lot to offer you. So one of our accomplishments, something that we are very proud of, is the fact that we are an R1 institution. So essentially, this kind of classification looks at a bunch of different things at every university across the United States. So in order to be R1, you do have to rank in the top 4.5% of universities. Um, the top 4.5% out of about 2,800 universities means that we are in the top 130 universities across the United States. Um, that's a pretty big flex. We, we really um, are super proud of that. So um, in order to get this status, you have to be excellent across the board. It means that you have to have a certain number of research opportunities for your students. It means that you have to have a certain number of clubs and organizations on campus for your students to participate in. Um, it also means that you have to have D1 sports, for example, so your students are always entertained. Um, some other schools who are also R1 institutions include Stanford, MIT, University of Michigan, University of Arizona, and even Berkeley, so we are in very good company. Another thing that we are super proud of is the fact that we are ranked number one in social mobility by the prestigious Bookings Institute. Um, essentially, for those of you unfamiliar with social mobility, what it is, is, is your ability, like your ability as an individual to move through socioeconomic class. So something we are really, really good at at UTEP is helping low income students, middle income students, even even higher income students. Um, we're very good at helping them all get to school, helping them figure out how to pay for school, keeping tuition pretty, pretty low for them. Um, helping them graduate and then ultimately preparing them to go get a salary job that would move them into a higher socioeconomic class. So that's something we are really good at here. We do have a lot of programs specifically to help students um, move through social mobility. So um, something we're super proud of. So when it comes to choosing like what you'll study here at UTEP, you do have a lot of different choices. Um, so for those of you already familiar sort of with how college works, what you're gonna do basically wherever you apply is you're gonna choose a major. Um, a major is basically whatever you're interested in learning about. Um, it will be for like a four year program, that'll be your major for all four years, um, but you'll be able to change it whenever you like, so don't stress too much about it. Um, here at UTEP, we will have 74 different choices for majors, um, and those are gonna be for the bachelor's degree. So these are going to be your choices. We're going to go over them in a few minutes and I'll tell you like basically everything that we have to offer you. Um, but essentially how everything works here at UTEP is that 
Um, for all of you, you would be applying to a bachelor's degree. That's a four year degree and you have 74 different options. Once you go ahead and finish your bachelor's degree or four year degree, you can apply to graduate school, which means you can get a master's and even go in to get a PhD through our doctoral programs. So um, for now, you'll be focusing on these 74 majors, but once you're done with your bachelor's, you can choose between any of the 76 masters and you can even go on to get a PhD. Um, and we have 22 different choices for you. So essentially, whatever you're interested in, we very, very, very likely have a program for you. Awesome, so a little bit about our academic colleges. I'm gonna be going over um, each of our academic colleges. I'll tell you the like big popular majors um, within each college and I'll tell you what college has to offer you. So let's see, our first college is the College of Business Administration. Here at UTEP, we do call this college COBA. Um, so if you ever come to campus and you hear people talking about COBA this, COBA that, they're talking about the College of Business Administration. Um, that's because of the acronym right? C-O-B-A. Makes a lot of sense. So the College of Bus Business Administration has all of our business majors. That makes a lot of sense too. So essentially, if you're interested in anything like accounting, economics, finance, business management, um, even marketing, all of this is going to be within the College of Business Administration. Um, you're more than welcome to take any kinds of screenshots of this presentation. Um, if you want to like take notes on this, you can take a screenshot and look at all of our majors later. Um, but I do want to remind you that all of our majors actually can be found on our website um, at utep.edu. So you're also able to find them there if you want to look in the future. So let's see. Yeah, so you'll notice um, that on the left side where we start the majors, they are all of the bachelor's programs. So those are your four year programs. Um, and as I mentioned before, if you did want to get a master's degree, um, you will have the option within the business school. We have master's of business administration, both professional and executive. Um, we have master's programs for accountancy um, and science and economics. And then ultimately, if you want to get a PhD in business, you're going to be able to do that as well. Awesome. So a few things that we are proud of about our business school um, is the fact that we are accredited by the AACSB. Um, so essentially what this means is that we're on par with the top business schools across the United States. Um, less than 5% of business schools in the world actually have this accreditation. Um, and all it is is that the accreditation demonstrates and proves the, um, the quality of our business education. So if you do decide to get a business degree here at UTEP, you will be within the top 5% of business students in the world um, because we have this accreditation, something we're super proud of. We also have state-of-the-art learning facilities and experiential learning opportunities. Um, essentially, all this means is that you're going to have a lot of resources, ultimately, when you are a business student, um, when everything from literally like the buildings that we have you in classes to opportunities for internships, certificate programs, um, you name it. We also have a good amount of corporate partnerships. Um, these are really, really cool because essentially these corporate partnerships allow us to work really closely with large corporations like um, Lockheed Martin, Prudential. I don't know if you, you've heard of some of these like financial institutions, um, but essentially we work with them in order to prepare our students for internships with them. And then ultimately that we, that we can get they can get jobs with them afterwards. So having these kinds of partnerships with corporations as a business school is an awesome resource to you. Awesome, so the College of Liberal Arts. So in this college, you're gonna find all of your majors that are like humanities and social sciences. Um, we do have 52 majors um, programs for liberal arts and they're everything from, as you can see on the list, anthropology, history, art history, Chicano studies, um, if you want to major in a certain language, you'll be in this College of Liberal Arts. Here we also have political science, um, psychology, sociology, theater, um, women and gender studies, you name it. As long as it's like a humanities or social science, um, it will be within the College of Liberal Arts. So this is um, definitely like one of our colleges with the most majors. Let's see. And then, of course, as always, if you did want to get a master's in liberal arts or a PhD, you're going to have the option to do that as well. Awesome. One of the really great things about our College of Liberal Arts is the fact that a lot of our faculty um, is recognized nationally and internationally as leaders in their field. So um, these people, our faculty, our professors 
aren't just um, like people who have just finished their PhD and gone right into teaching. Um, a lot of them are people who have the PhD, went out and became leaders in their fields, and then came to teach at UTEP. So that is an awesome, awesome resource to students in liberal arts. Um, the liberal arts college also offers a lot of opportunities for study abroad. So if you're interested in studying in, a, in another country while coming to UTEP, you're going to have the ability to do that. Um, and our liberal arts college does offer um, a handful of really, really cool specialized programs for students. Like, for example, the Law School Preparation Institute. Um, it's called LSPI. This is free to all UTEP students. It happens during the summer. Um, and essentially, this, this institute is a boot camp for preparing you for law school. So if that's something you're interested in, um, we've, we're able to prepare you for law school, definitely. Um, there's also the Liberal Arts Honors Program, um, which not only can provide scholarships to students to continue coming to UTEP, um, but it also provides them like, you know, support and recognition for their good grades. So that's pretty cool. And then we also have the Stanley and Gerald Rubin Center for Visual Arts. Um, essentially, this is like a student led art museum. So we have, um, as I said before, art is one of the majors within liberal arts. And so this is a way for students to debut their work. Um, if you're ever on campus and you can swing by the Visual Arts Center, I highly recommend going. A lot of the art pieces are really, really beautiful. Awesome. So the College of Sci um, Science. The College of Science has all of our hard sciences. So um, everything from biological sciences, like bio is a very common major for students who want to be doctors. Um, if, if you want to be a doctor, bio is a great choice for you. Um, but it also includes majors like microbiology, neuroscience, chemistry, um, geography, geophysics, math, <laughs> regular physics, and environmental science. So if it's a hard science, it will be within the College of Science. Makes sense. Um, we, of course, will have options and we do have options if you do want to get a master's ultimately and if you do want to get a PhD as well. Awesome. So our College of Science is um, pretty big on research. So it means that once you are a student in the College of Science, you'll have the ability be to, to be doing research um, like potentially out in the field, like out in the world. Uh, so, for example, we have the Biomedical Research Center. Um, so if biomedical if the biomedical field is something that you're interested in, you'll have the um, possibility and the opportunity to work with this center to gain that experience. Um, we do also have the Indo Mountain Research Sent stations. Um, I believe this is primarily for geography, but it gives you the opportunity to be out in the field learning about your science major. So super cool. And a lot like the business school, our College of Science has a lot of really, really good partnerships with really amazing um, organizations all over the country. Um, these partnerships allow us to prepare students for internships with places like NASA, um, the National Health Institute, um, and even MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. It's a big, like, famous hospital for curing cancer. Um, because we have these partnerships, it allows us to prepare students for internships, um, help them apply to these internships, and then ultimately um, it helps us get them jobs with these entities. So that would be a great benefit to you. Awesome, we also have our College of Education. So if you wanna be um, like a teacher, this is perfect for you. If you wanna go into education um, and maybe not be a teacher, but maybe be like an assistant principal or help write the curriculum for you know students in Texas, this would be the perfect path for you, the College of Education. Um, so essentially you would get your bachelor's um, in applied learning and development, and then you could get a concentration in a bunch of different areas um, for like different grade levels. So you could get the bachelor's in applied learning for let's see, um, kindergarten to fifth grade, and then you could do it for like high school students. So you're basically gonna have a chance to to become a professional and get the degree in whatever level of education that you want to teach at. Um, let's see what else. A lot, a lot of teachers here in El Paso did graduate from the UTEP College of Education. So um, if you did want to reach out to some of your teachers now, I'm sure they could tell you all about it. Um, and it gives you a chance to meet alumni, which is always a, a good choice. <laughs> let's see what else. And of course, if you did want to get a master's, we do have lots of options for you as well once you finish up that uh, bachelor's degree. And then, of course, you'll have the option for a PhD as well. So um, our College of Business is ranked, num sorry, the College of Education is ranked number one um, for bachelor's degrees for Hispanics by Hispanic Outlook magazine. Um, so if you're Hispanic or you have a friend who's Hispanic and wants to go into education, obviously this would be a great choice for you or them. 
Um, we do also have online programs to get um, like bilingual education degrees. Um, ultimately, like once you're ready to start applying, this would be a good consideration. Um, and we do have resources for in for students who are preparing to become teachers, like our educational technology um, center hub for um, like training and things like that. So awesome opportunities for you. Let's see our College of Engineering. Oh man, so every student who goes into engineering, they have my absolute most respect. My older sister um, graduated from UTEP engineering and it was very, very difficult. So engineering can be difficult, but you don't need to worry. If this is your top choice, this is what you wanna do. Um, as soon as you start classes, you're gonna have a lot, a lot of support. Um, we have a ton of different support programs, anything from, let's see, office hours with your professors to, um, let's see, um, tutoring and like a, just a ton of different support for engineering students. Um, for anybody going into engineering, I commend you for that. Um, we do have a bunch of choices. Uh, one of our most popular is civil engineering. Um, we also have computer science, which is gonna be within engineering also. Um, we have special ones like construction engineering management, um, metallurgical and material engineering, um, industrial engineering, electrical engineering, you name it, we very likely have it. Um, and then, of course, if you did want to get a master's or a PhD, you will also be able to do that. So um, awesome. The engineering school is, let's see, some of our accomplishments. Um, we do rank in the top five for graduate engineering schools. So for that's like for the master's and the PhD. Um, and we are the number three producer of bachelor's degrees for Hispanics in the United States, um, according to the American Society for Engineering Education. So. Again, if you're Hispanic or you have a Hispanic friend that wants to go into engineering, we have all of the resources and support for you. We're happy to have you as a minor. Let's see what else. Um, a lot of these are, let's see, the next one is for doctoral degrees. So we're also really good when it comes to getting that PhD. <laughs> let's see what else um, I did. So like you have this information on the screen, but I actually wanted to take a minute to tell you um, one of a few of my favorite things about the College of Engineering. Um, so the College of Engineering is always coming out with the coolest programs. Um, everything from coding to robotics to 3D printing. Um, so it is like a very interactive um, college where you get to be like hands on with your learning. Um, if this is something you're interested in, definitely would be a great choice for you. And then once you're a student here, we'll be able to um, help you get like internships and even maybe jobs after graduation because we do have partnerships um, with other big agencies like we do for the College of Science and like we do for the College of Business. So um, if you're interested in maybe working for the government, for the Department of Defense or Energy, this would be a great choice. Um, we also have a really strong partnership with NASA as well as um, the Air Force Research Laboratory. So a really good option for you. Awesome, so our College of Health Sciences. So the College of Health Sciences um, essentially covers majors like kinesiology, rehab sciences, um, public health, which is really popular right now. Um, we also have a botch bachelor's in social work. Um, so if you wanna be a social worker, this is like the perfect college for you. Let's see what else. Um, our bachelor's in clinical laboratory. Um, so essentially what that is, is like you're actually like physically um, training to be in a lab. So like if you're doing like any kind of like testing in a lab, um, this would be like the degree for you. So a really cool choice. Um, and then ultimately, if you do want to get a master's or a PhD, like I keep saying, you will have the option to do that. Awesome. So our college of nursing, so our school of nursing, this is um, one of like our like most popular programs on campus. We have a lot of nursing students, um, which is awesome because essentially once you get a degree in nursing, you can go right into the field once you graduate. Um, we do offer the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. We have like a regular degree plan um, and then we have a specialized online degree plan. If you already have your license in nursing, um, that would be this option right here. Um, for those of you who may not have known, you actually also will be able to master in nursing um, and you can even go on to get a PhD or sorry, um, a DNP special title there um, in nursing, but it is also a doctoral program. So um, there's definitely a lot to explore here. Awesome. And our School of Pharmacy. So our School of Pharmacy um, is primarily a graduate program. So it means um, basically you would have to finish your bachelor's first. Uh, but here at UTEP, we do have a um, special accelerated program. So if you're a UTEP student already um, and you want to go to the School of Farming, also um, pharmacy, <laughs> School of Pharmacy here at, nurse, um, here at UTEP, essentially 
basically you just have to um, apply while you're already a student. Um, there are going to be requirements for the School of Pharmacy um, in order to get in. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to us about it. I can let you know what those requirements will be. But essentially, you're going to fulfill those requirements once you're already getting your four year bachelor's. Um, you would fulfill those requirements like take um, take a specific class, have a specific GPA. And then once you meet those qualifications, you actually get to start pharmacy classes um, for like graduate level classes while you're still getting your undergraduate degree. So that is a really, really awesome here program here at UTEP. Um, if the School of Pharmacy and getting like a pharmacy degree is something you're interested in, um, this pathway will make it um, like faster for you and easier for you. So it would be a really good choice. Awesome. So essentially, um, that's all of our basic information about our majors um, and like the programs we have here. If you have any questions, I do encourage you to um, encourage you to call our Office of Admissions. We're open normal hours, um, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, Monday through Friday. We can tell you all about whatever other major you might be interested in, um, but you can also visit our website, of course. Awesome. So a little bit about student life. Um, this is essentially what it's going to be like to be a, a actual student coming to UTEP. Awesome. So student life, like essentially what it is, like is we, we try to offer as many opportunities to you, um, whether it's a club, whether it's study abroad um, or like how you can like, you know, interact on campus with other students, like resources like the library, going to the gym, coming to games. Um, we try to craft a like full college experience for you. So um, essentially what I'll be going over is all of like the options we provide for you to have like a very complete college experience. Um, so the first one that I'll be going over is going to be engagement and leadership opportunities. So um, to be engaged on campus um, could for you look like joining a few clubs. Um, we do have over 200 student organizations on campus, um, 200 clubs essentially. That is a lot of organizations. Um, so whatever you're interested in, we will very likely have a club for it. And if by chance we don't have the club that you're looking for, you can actually make that club um, and, of course, gather a group of friends and actually start a club for whatever you're interested in. So um, you'll always have essentially a group to join um, in order to make friends, of course, that's important. Um, and in order to gain, let's see, for example, um, professional development, um, we do have clubs that are specifically for professional development. Like we have a lot of clubs in like the business school, engineering school, um, and they'll essentially help you by connecting you to older classmates that have already taken the classes you've taken. Um, they'll help you by connecting you to potential scholarship opportunities, internship opportunities, um, and they'll even help connect you to alumni who will be able to tell you all about their experiences in the real world. So a lot of opportunities for you. We also do have inclusivity and advocacy programs. Um, of course, the university is always trying to um, take in as many voices and perspectives as possible. So if advocacy and, um, is something that you're really big on, here at UTEP, we'll have a lot of opportunities for that. We do also have Greek life um, fraternity and sororities here on campus. Um, if that's something you're interested in, you will have the option to do that. And then, of course, we have a lot of opportunities for leadership specifically, um, whether it's like you being the president of your club and like you win the election to be a president of your club. That's really cool. You get to develop those leadership skills. But we also have like leadership trainings that are available to students. Um, that way you can like sharpen your leadership skills. So um, that's the first part. Let's see. We also have study abroad programs. Like I said before, we do have a lot of opportunities for you to study in another country while you're coming to UTEP. Um, so essentially how that works is like you're coming to UTEP. Um, maybe you've taken a whole year of classes already and then you want to go study um, somewhere in Asia for business, for international business. Um, what you can do is you can go through UTEP. Of course, I recommend going through UTEP if you're already coming here. Um, and you can work with us to connect with um, any of the 200 universities we have connections to all over the world. That way you can continue your degree in that country. Um, you go basically for a semester. You're taking specific courses that are going to help your degree while also being completely immersed in a totally different country and culture. Um, study abroad is one of the most rewarding experiences. So if you're interested in this, um, you will have tons of options here at UTEP for it. Awesome. So a little bit about dining on campus. So um, when it comes to like finding food on campus, we do have um, spots for you all, all over our entire campus. We have um, a ton of different options like to-go menus, um, to-go stores. Um, we do have um, a good number of restaurants on campus. We have um, an all-you-can-eat 
um, dining facility called the Pick and Shovel, basically right in the center of campus. It's pretty good. Um, one of my favorite spots on campus. Um, and then, of course, you have like the college stereotype, like everybody's addicted to coffee. It's true. Um, so we'll have coffee for you basically um, like every other building in campus. So you'll always have access to, of course, food and um, whatever you need to, to keep going. Awesome. So when it comes to athletics, we do have D1 sports, Division I sports on campus. Um, so for those of you unfamiliar, that's basically the highest level of college sports you can get. Um, so that means there is no shortage of sporting events and like games to go to on campus. Um, here at UTEP, football is really, really big. So in the fall time, you can find um, the Sun Bowl pretty packed with people for football games. Um, but personally, I really, really like the basketball games. They're my favorite. Um, because they get they get super loud. They're in the Don Haskins Center. They get very rowdy. Um, our teams are pretty decent, so you can expect like to win um, like at least half of the time. Um, they're also always giving away free stuff, uh, which I appreciate. Uh, but more than anything, they're just very, very spirited. You have a lot of students there um, who are really happy to be there to cheer on the team. Um, and of course, like basketball is so much fun. So that's my favorite. <laughs> All right, um, let's see what else. Oh, yes, living on campus. So um, for student housing, if you're interested in living in campus on a dorm, you're gonna be able to do that. We have um, a good number of layouts for students, like like dorm layouts, like how they're set up with the rooms and bathrooms and stuff. So um, if you did wanna have the stereotypical dorm experience um, where you're sharing a room with one person and like the other person is like just right across from you, you're gonna be able to do that. Um, I did that my freshman year. I had a really cool experience with my roommate, made a really good friend, um, but you don't have to. Um, after that, I was like, no, I want some more privacy. So I was able to get my own room, own kind of bed and things, of course, your own bed, um, own like bathroom area um, to where you're like sharing maybe like a living room with a few other people. Um, I liked that the best, but of course you can have your choice. Um, but living on campus, there are a ton of benefits like um, students who live on campus tend to have better grades. Um, they can go to tutoring much easier. They can go to the library much easier. It's easier for them to study. Um, so it's a benefit to you if that's something you're interested in. And then finally, we have our Student Recreation Center. This is our gym. Um, this is one of my favorite spots on campus. It is super nice. Um, essentially, it is a state-of-the-art recreation center, um, and it has a ton of different things for you to do. Everything from intramural sports to um, fitness classes all throughout the day, like yoga, kickboxing, things like that. Um, we have outdoor activities, like a whole outdoor, um, like, I forget what the word is, but it's like one of those, like, like a scaling set where you have to like, it's an outdoor challenge course, more or less. Um, we do have also two pools. Um, we have a rock wall for climbing. I believe it's three stories. Um, we have a whole floor for just like weights um, and we have a ton of basketball courts. So like I said, one of my favorite spots on campus. Awesome, okay. So now I'll tell you a little bit about paying for college. So um, let's see, one of the ways you can um, pay for part of your college or maybe all of it is to um, apply for scholarships. So we do have a scholarship office. It is dedicated to covering all things scholarship related. Um, I actually encourage you, like once you're applying already, to visit their website because we have um, external scholarship resources. We have, um, let's see, scholarships for international students. We have tips and tricks on how to write good college um, scholarship essays. So that's beneficial to you. Um, and then we do also recommend using these national search engines. Um, they are online. They have a lot of opportunities um, whenever you're ready to start applying to college. UTEP also does offer specific scholarships within each department um, and within like colleges. So for example, the College of Engineering offers specific scholarships within like specific majors. Um, the same goes for liberal arts, business, um, you name it. Um, some of the ones that are like very commonly available are study abroad scholarships honors program scholarships, um, college of education scholarships, and even like music and art scholarships. So you'll have the opportunity to apply to those once you start attending UTEP. Let's see, aside from that, we have the standard scholarships for incoming freshmen. So once you are all ready to apply, like maybe it's fall of your senior year, you're already starting to apply to UTEP. These are the scholarships that I would recommend focusing on for UTEP. Um, so essentially what we do is we'll look at your um, your rank in your class, like are you top 5%, are you top 3%, are you top 10%, um, we'll look at your GPA also, um, and we'll be able to grant you a scholarship based off of that information. So um, and, 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 um, something you should know is that this is very similar for a bunch of different universities. So um, what I recommend um, is as you continue high school, 
definitely, definitely work on your GPA because the higher rank you can get, the higher likelihood you get a scholarship um, at basically all the big Texas schools. So um, especially, of course, I stress for you to um, definitely work on your, your GPA and make sure you have a good rank. Um, we do have two scholarship deadlines, just so you know. Uh, the first one is going to be November 1st. Um, it's the same basically every single year. So at that point, um, it will very be likely be November 1st also. Um, and then we do have another deadline that's going to be March 1st. So um, let's see, you will have a good amount of time to fill this out. Awesome. Oh, we also have a Terry, um, another program called the Terry Scholars Program. This program is super, super cool. Um, so essentially what it is, is um, let's see, the Terry Scholars Program supports like a specific um, group of students on campus. So once you're applying to UTEP, you can apply to Terry Scholars Program. Um, and what they do is they give you, if you do get in, of course, they'll give you um, a significant scholarship to pay for your school. They provide you um, support when it comes to um, like keeping your grades up. They'll help you network with people in your field. Um, essentially, like I think of it as like the ultimate support group for being on campus. So um, if if like you feel that the Terry program would be good for you, I would highly recommend applying for it. Um, some of the things that they're looking for in the application include students who are highly involved in their communities. So if you do a lot of volunteering, perfect. Um, students who have like really good grades. Um, if like, if you have a lot of leadership, like opportunities in high school, this is going to be perfect for you. So they're looking for students who are very involved and very committed to their academics. Um, so as you continue through high school, um, this is something that you can keep in mind and you can keep it as like a motivation to stay active in clubs and keep your grades really high. So um, this is a really like very, very cool program. Awesome. So when it comes to investing in UTEP, I know this is like a ton of information. Maybe you're not thinking about like how you're going to pay this far out, uh, but this is just like basic information um, that you should know. So when it comes to paying for UTEP, on average, our sticker price is going to be about $8,000 a year. That is for two semesters. So that's going to be fall and spring. Um, let's see, when it comes to paying for UTEP, when it comes like compared to other schools who are very similar to us, um, we are very proud that we are incredibly affordable. So um, if, if I don't know if many of you know, but we have a rivalry with NMSU in, in Las Cruces. Um, our little rivalry with them is a lot of fun, um, but we're really happy that we tend to be more affordable than them. Um, so that's a, that's a perk. Um, we also are more affordable than other UT system schools like UTSA um, in San Antonio, UT Dallas, um, and of course UT Austin. We tend to be more affordable than um, almost all of them. So something we're very proud of, something for you just to keep in mind. Awesome. So I believe this is the last section of this presentation. Um, I'll give you like a um, just basically a, a basic explanation of how you're going to apply to UTEP once you're ready to start applying. So you are all going to be incoming freshmen. Um, so essentially, we have three different paths to admit students. Um, what I want to focus on is this first one. Essentially, um, we use this um, this rubric, this table, in order to determine whether or not we can admit you like Actually, this is like a, a tool that makes it a little a faster for us. Um, what you're going to want to see and like note here is um, the class ranking. So you can see that the top 10 percent, um, if you're top 10 percent, um, we at this point, we are giving automatic admissions. So that's awesome. We won't need an SAT score or um, an ACT score. If you are top 25 percent, um, we won't need a minimum score either. Um, but if you are like in the second 25 percent, we're going to need SAT scores and ACT scores. Um, and then as your rank goes like a little bit higher, um, we'll need like, of course, um, SAT, ACT scores. So let's see what else. Um, we are able to accept other kinds of test scores here at UTEP. Um, you may have already heard of the TSI test. Um, the TSIA is the Texas Success Initiative. Um, and essentially it functions like sort of the SAT and the ACT. Um, but not every school in Texas accepts this. So keep that in mind. Here at UTEP, we're able to accept TSI. Um, so if that's ultimately like one of the tests you're going to be taking in the next few years, just keep an eye on your score um, and we, we will be able to accept it. But remember, it's not the same at every school in Texas. This is specific to UTEP. Um, so that's like the second path. Um, the third path is reviewed admission. So this is um, one that um, I personally really, really like. So um, one of the ways we're able to admit so many students here at UTEP um, and essentially like reach out to and help students who maybe aren't college ready um, yet is through our reviewed admissions program. So there are students applying definitely who are not at the college readiness level yet. Um, so what we can do essentially is we get to um, admit them under um, 
this special program called START, all caps, S-T-A-R-T. Um, essentially, what it would be is like you would start classes here at UTEP um, just with everybody else, and we would put you in developmental classes until you're ready to start your actual college level classes. Um, at that point, you wouldn't have to reapply to UTEP. We'll just put you right into your major. So this is a really, really good choice um, if by chance you don't meet the admission standard by any chance at all. Pretty rare for freshmen, honestly. Um, so um, this will still have options for you, even if maybe you're not college ready just yet. Awesome. So. That is the end of our presentation. Um, like I said, my name is America Jaime. I am an admissions counselor here at the University of Texas at El Paso. If you have any questions about um, admissions, majors, any kinds of specific programs, please feel free to call my office of admissions. Um, we're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, thank you so much for paying attention to this presentation, and I hope you have a wonderful day.